Hi guys. So if you're watching this video, congratulations. It means you are nearly done with lab three. So in this short video, we are going to go over how to get your GIS data into a printed map that can either be a hard copy map or a printed PDF map. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go and select a new print composer and we want to give it a title. And so this is our map layout window. So the first thing within our map layout window that we should do is make sure that our paper is the right size for our printer. Now, so to do this, we go to layout, page setup, and we confirm that in fact our paper is set to letter uh, which is eight and a half by 11 and we have it in landscape. If we wanted to create a map in a portrait format that would be vertical, this is where we would change it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add the map to the paper. So we want to choose the Add Map to Layout tool, and we are going to make it very large so it fills up as much of our paper as possible. Okay, and now we can adjust it slightly. So we can adjust the scale in our map here by interactively uh, changing the scale. So in this case I want my map to be about 1 to 40 million. I can also add a neat line to my map by going down here to frame and check frame. This will add a neat line around the border of the map and then I can say I want to update the preview and there is my neat line. So finally what I want to do is I want to lock the layers and lock the layer style. This sets the, ex uh, the map extent and it also sets the uh, appearance of the map, sort of freeze framing it in time. So the next thing I want to add is a scale bar. So I go over here and select the scale bar tool and I'm going to drag a scale bar uh, down to at the bottom here and let's go ahead and modify it slightly. So I want my units to be in miles. So I can make it thinner down here and I can make the width less. So instead of 500 units, I am going to make it 250 units and I am going to have three segments. So now it is thinner and uh, it is more in line with what we're seeing with the rest of the map. I can also fiddle with the other values here. So for example, I can make the font on the number smaller. Okay, so the next thing we are going to add is a north arrow. So in QGIS, north arrows are considered graphics. So we are going to go over here to the add new picture to the layout tool, and I'm going to drag an area for my north arrow. Now the picture item properties come up and I'm going to search directories to pull up all of the preloaded images that come with QGIS. And I'm going to choose a very simple uh, north arrow here that is preloaded. So I'm going to make it smaller so it doesn't compete for the viewer's attention. Okay, so the next thing we're going to add is a legend. So I go over here to the Add New Legend to Layout tool, and I'm going to click and drag an area for the legend. Now notice we have all of the items in the, that are in our layers list showing up in the legend, even though they are not all showing up in our map. So we want to edit this to make sure that only the items that are in the map are showing up in our legend. Okay, so to do this, we come over here to the legend items. We're going to take off auto update, which will allow us to select the items that are not showing up in the map that are not displayed and remove them. I may also want to remove the background so that uh, my legend sort of blends in more with my map. Okay, so we're almost there. We have a few more items to add to our map. Uh, these are the credits and the map title. Both of these are considered text. So we are going to go over here to our text tool and select an area 
for our map title. We type in the title over here. Okay, so we can take this and we can change the font the same way that we dealt with the font and the scale bar. At this point, it's good to remind you that your titles for your map should be descriptive. They should tell you what it is that you are looking at in the map. So I'm going to add a second text box that includes my map credits. So as a reminder, your map credits should include your data source. It should also include the information about who made the map. So the next video is going to give you some more detailed tips and tricks about how to tweak your map layout, including things like adding a map inset. Happy trails!